euro dollar and euro INR weekly currency analysis pe aap sabhi ka swagat hai today is 3rd of december 2022 while doing the weekly analysis which comprises of all the currency pairs starting from dollar index to rupee to gbp to euro to dollar, uh, yen to kandy to aussie dollar it takes a lot of time therefore we are not in a position to stress out give special importance to each and every currency pairs therefore i thought other than the generalized currency weekly analysis currency pair wise also i will prepare the analysis so that those people who are specially interested for a specific currency pair can have a better understanding what is happening in this currency so in this euro dollar weekly and monthly currency analysis let's start with weekly closing weekly closing it has taken at 1.0878 during the week we saw a volatility in between 1.1017 on the higher side and 1.0828 on the lower side so there are almost 190 pips volatility from the high to the low monthly closing the november month closing it has given a strong bullish candle but little bit of price rejection at the higher end therefore the candle is not that strong as compared to the gbp dollar in gbp dollar it is much stronger than the euro dollar so the strength in euro dollar is little bit less than that of gbp although the monthly candle is a strong one rsi is currently at 50.45 so there are rooms for both side movement both on the higher side and on the lower side now coming to weekly it's a negative candle at a specific positions this is the resistance level also rsi took a resistance at 60 and turned down one more aspect same as your gbp dollar and dollar index it took resistance at 61.8 percent and moving down so this particular location 1.0950 to 1.100 is a crucial one one is the price action wise second is fee retracement the downward movement between the july and october 2023 it's 61.8 percent retracement and rsi taking resistance at 60 and bending down considering this aspect with a negative candle moderate negative candle what we can expect from monday onwards for that purpose we would like to go to the daily chart this is the daily chart of euro dollar where we saw a small period breach of the immediate resistance at 1.0950 traded high of 1.1017 and then wednesday and thursday it turned down closing below the earlier resistance on friday it has made a doji candle so the relevance of doji candle is a pause candle it may be a continuation or may be a reversal depending on the location as far as the location is concerned only a short journey it has taken from 1.1017 to 1.0850 so it's most probably it's a pause candle what it means below the low of this doji we can expect a downward journey now so if monday onwards we find euro dollar is started moving down below the friday's low some sort of negativity is expected so considering the weekly time frame and daily time frame 
the negative bias is there in eurodollars and there are higher possibilities if monday onwards the price action starts trading below friday's low in such a case the first support that we are expecting is at 1.0650 to 1.068 that this zone is expected to act as a first support zone if the price starts trading below friday's low and the second level of support that we can expect is this level which is your 1.0570 to 1.0580 so at the downside there are two probable supports as discussed in case the price starts trading above the high of the weekly candle that means at 1.1017 above the high from monday onwards in coming days if we find the prices are started trading higher in such a case we can expect some upward bias but the condition says euro dollar is little bit negative in nature in comparison to the gbp now let us come to euro inr monthly euro inr before coming to the monthly chart let us discuss the weekly chart weekly closing has at 90.57 it has taken a resistance at the important resistance that is 91.30 to 91.30 rsi weekly from above 60 it turned down and closed below 60 at 59.09 monthly candle for the month of november is a strong bullish candle with a little price rejections at the higher ends what it indicates is the moment it starts trading above the monthly high we may say we may find some buying bias but immediately the major resistance is at 92 30 92 40. so when if we look for buying opportunities considering the monthly strength of the candle immediate resistance is there so the buy may not be that much lucrative until and unless this resistance zone is broken out on the higher side. This is about the price action perspective. Now comes the RSA perspective. RSA perspective, Euro INR is hovering around 60. So there may be a possibility it may take a resistance at 60 or near to 60 and come down. In such a case, some selling opportunities may be there. Euro that weekly price action shows, uh, shows that uh, means uh, this negative candle and below the low of this negative candle we may see some sort of negative or the selling bias. Now coming to the daily candle price action. Here we can see an M pattern. M pattern at a support level what is the support is your 90.26 to 90.4 90.25 to 90.46 now monday onwards if the currency pair the price starts trading below this support zone in such a case the m will start working m pattern will start working and in such a case the probable target may be the M pattern target they were doing maybe may take the pair towards your 89 89.10, which is again a support level because from this level the price action has started its upwards journey after this consolidation phase after prices consolidated in this area. Then after only it took a upward phase. So this level. Is the first target for the M pattern in one direction, and second direction is this is also the expected support level. So we need to see 
Monday onwards, whether the currency pair, the price starts trading below the low of Friday, that means 90.57, so to be precise, 90.57. This is the spot price. So if the spot price starts trading below 90.50, in such a case, there are higher possibilities, the M pattern will start trading. And in such a case, we our target is 89 to 89.10. And our stop loss is above the high, that is 91.80. So it is going to be a one is to one type of trade in case it gets triggered. Considering the monthly chart is a little bit positive in nature, not the strongest positive candle, but positive candle, but immediate resistance is a concern weekly. So the resistance at the crucial level, that is the 91.3050, and RSI moved down from above 60 to below 60. This weekly price action, negative bias of this price action has just uh, means given a perspective that there may be some selling opportunities during the daily perspective, means daily area. So, means what I want to mean means Monday onwards, if we get an opportunity that the price action starts trading below 90.50, so the M pattern will change. So, weekly analysis here is up to this much. If we compare with respect to the GBP dollar, GBP dollar, the bias is very strong. Only concern is the weekly resistance at 60, weekly RSI resistance at 60. But in comparison to that currency pair, euro dollar is comparatively negative in nature. There may be some selling opportunities coming from Monday onwards. So the weekly analysis is here only. I just I want to wind up. I think the presentation is of great help for those who want to specifically focus on euro dollar and euro IMS. So wishing you a great weekend so that tomorrow onwards you can focus on your next again, trading journey means with a lot of energy, a lot of uh, enthusiasm and with a clear perspective. Thank you. And